Welcome back to the channel. Today we discuss the Interdictor class Star Destroyer and why I think it would have changed the tide of the war for the Empire. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe for more Star Wars content. How do Interdictor class Star Destroyers work? These ships project what's called a mass shadow, meaning it simulates a large planetary body on the extra dimensional fabric of hyperspace. Or more plainly put, it prevents ships from entering hyperspace and can also pull ships directly out of hyperspace. These ships were used to patrol trade routes and enforce customs checkpoints. These cruisers became vital as rebel starfighter ambushes increased. The interdictors were able to prevent these starfighters from jumping into hyperspace after their attack. The rebellion was chiefly able to defeat the Empire by the use of hyperspace. The fleet jumped in and out using ambush tactics to weaken or destroy vital Imperial facilities, or when it needed to, the fleet would flee the Empire into hyperspace. The Rebels won using the Imperials' arrogance as well as their need to build massive ships and space stations against them. If the Empire was smart, they would have built more interdictors. I have two main reasons why this would have helped. Interdictors could have prevented the Rebels from utilizing hyperspace, therefore cutting them off from the very tool that allows them to ambush and evade the Empire. Thrawn is able to put interdictors into great use against the Ghost Crew and their small cell of Rebels. Imagine if every Star Destroyer detachment had an Interdictor with them. They'd be able to cripple the Rebels to the point of their defeat. Interdictor class Star Destroyers also cost a mere 15 million credits, compared to an Imperial Star Destroyer's 150 million credits. Not to mention the fact that the Empire also constructed a Death Star twice. The Empire was truly horrible with its credits. Admiral Thrawn was one high-ranking officer who was pretty outspoken about his disapproval of the Death Star. He specifically valued advanced starfighters such as the TIE Defender, as well as a larger Star Destroyer fleet. The Empire could have saved a credit or two if it decided to build more interdictors and probably would have won the war in the process. What do you guys think of this vessel, and how do you think it would have helped them? Let me know your thoughts, questions, and concerns below. If you want more nerdy content, Check out the Unknown Regions podcast where my brother and I discuss Marvel, Star Wars, and more. Have an amazing day and may the Force be with you.